this cute little guy is the grasshopper mouse. They're native to a bunch of areas in the southern United States and Mexico. They are the only 100% carnivorous mouse and eat things like insects, scorpions, tarantulas, and other mice. They're known to be incredibly aggressive. All, all around. All of it. Some of their main food are things like scorpions, which, if you don't know, tend to have venom, which at the very least tends to be painful, and at the very most, deadly. However, these guys are immune to many, many types of scorpion venom. In addition to eating highly venomous things like scorpions, they will also eat highly venomous centipedes, which have very, very painful venom, even to humans. And in most cases, if a mouse gets bit by a centipede, it has enough venom to kill that mouse but not the grasshopper mouse. These guys have a hunting strategy that basically allows it to be faster than the centipede, so it repeatedly bites through the centipede's exoskeleton, which is very hard comparatively, and bites them repeatedly, damaging the nervous system of the centipede until it's paralyzed, and then the mouse tends to eat it alive. So it repeatedly bites the centipede too fast for the centipede to turn around and bite the mouse until it can no longer move the centipede, not the mouse. They're also very territorial and will howl at the moon to scare other grasshopper mice away from their territory, which is where one of the other names, the wolf mouse, comes from due to the fact that it is both aggressive and howls at the moon. They are almost entirely solitary and are very aggressive to other mice, even of their own species, so much so that when kept in captivity for things like pets or for studying, they need to be kept separately because if enough mice are kept together in the same enclosure, they will kill and eat each other. They also have a ridiculously high pain tolerance to certain venoms, specifically the fact due to the fact that they co-evolved so closely with a species of scorpion, the bark scorpion, that they evolved such immunity to the bark scorpion venom that it actually acts as an evolutionary painkiller. Normally, the bark scorpion's venom causes a very strong pain response, which is usually deliberating to whatever it stings. However, this mouse has evolved a, like, counter- reaction to the venom that basically just shuts off the pain signaling pathway in response to this venom. If it gets stung, instead of experiencing very painful signals, it will just nothing. No pain stimulus whatsoever, so the venom essentially has no effect. This is due to a bunch of interesting adaptations in a bunch of different cellular pathways that I'm not going to go into, but it has been used in research into pain medication. So by implementing the same cellular pathways that allow this mouse to not feel pain from the scorpion sting, painkillers that work in similar ways are looking at being developed, which is very cool.